everybody, Alisa here from Llama Unraveled. Today I have an ice yarn unboxing for you. And today my helper, Mr. Yarn Untangler, will be helping me to display the yarns and walking down his yarn walk or whatever, I'm not sure what he wants to call it, but um, I ordered a few different yarns from Ice Yarns. I wanted to make a beautiful blanket by Dada's Place and I'll put the link down below. Um, it's this beautiful um, blanket that has bobbles and granny squares and it has like diamonds the way you uh, put it together. Um, it's very pretty and I was, it's pretty, but I wanted to make sure the yarn I used for it is as soft as the beauty of it. So it wasn't just a pretty blanket that wasn't comfortable. I want it to be pretty and then you just want to curl up under it all the time. So I ordered a bunch of different ice yarns. Um, I have an idea which one to go with. I'm probably going to go with Softly Baby because that's what Chris at the Secret Yarnery recommended. Um, so I'm going to probably do that one. I got enough of that one to make the blanket, but I also got a whole bunch of other yarns so I could try ice yarns. Um, and this is my first huge order from Ice Yarns. So uh, go ahead and get ready for Mr. Yarn Untangler's little catwalk, yarn walk, whatever you want to call. And I will show you the yarns I bought from Ice. Hello again. So... For my ice yarn unboxing, the first one I have is Ganka. See that pretty pink? It's called Candy Pink. And it's, uh, it's a three weight yarn. See, that's a, it's a good size three, definitely. So this Ganka yarn, it's 328 yards, 100 gram skein. Uh, it calls for a four millimeter US six knitting needle. So probably like a, I would say a four millimeter anywhere to like a five millimeter crochet hook, maybe even a 5.5. And it is a hundred percent acrylic, comes in a pack of four. It's a dollar 25 a skein and it's four ninety nine dollars for the four pack. I have to say, I am quite thrilled with that. I originally, there was this one blanket that I really wanted to make and I was looking for a nice soft yarn to use and I was torn between a few. Um, I, I'll i show you which one I'm thinking about leaning towards, but I bought this to see what it was like in case I wanted to get more for this, but I really like it. But the colors are very green. There's there's some pinks and a lot of green and brown. And I wanted something like maybe like a, a blue purple kind of color. But after buying it, I very much like this. The next one is Soft Touch Baby. That nice pretty pink. Nice feel to it. And this one, it is 317 yards, 100 grams, three to four millimeter uh, knitting needles. So I would say, I would I would say again, like a, a GH, maybe even an I, if you want something drapey for this. It would make a great blanket, it feels so soft. And it is 80% acrylic, 20% polyamide, um, it comes in a pack of four and it is a dollar seventy five per skein. So with the pack of four it'd be six ninety nine. Okay. Uh, but I with this one this one might be discontinued. Um last time I was on there I don't remember seeing the soft touch baby. I think it was on the closeout section. Okay, so the next one I have is Picasso. Ooh, Mr. Yarn Untangler got some ice skin. I'm going to have to rewrap it a little bit. But you see, look at that nice pretty color. 
it's very very soft it has a nice little fuzz to it this one is a four weight yarn 125 yards 50 gram ball uh, it costs for a five millimeter knitting needles um, I would I would go for an I or even a J I would go 5.5 or 6 millimeter crochet hook for this one definitely and it is let's see it is 44% acrylic and 56% polyester and this comes in a nice variety of colors uh, there were some beautiful rainbows there's di very different rainbows there's some had more yellow some had more of a uh, equal amount of the colors but they were all very nice and this one is 99 cents a ball eight of them are 7.99 and then the next one I have which is one of my favorites so far and this is the one I, I'm gonna go with for that blanket and I'll have to you have to look for that video because it's a, a vintage blanket by dad does place and it is nice I really like that. It, it's got bobble stitches and it's made in granny squares. So it, it's a very nice effect. And I'll put the link to that pattern down below. Uh, so this one, Softly Baby, it's in light turquoise. Very nice soft feel to it. It's a three weight yarn, 229 yards, 100 gram skein. And it calls for a four millimeter hook. And in, it's a US six. Uh, for a crochet hook, I would go, I actually couldn't help myself. I already started with this one, um, trying to see how it works out and to feel how soft it was. And it's very soft. Um, and I went with an eye for my blanket. If I were making a wearable, I'd probably go with a J because it's got more drape. But for when I was crocheting up the blocks, I, an eye worked perfectly for this one. It's definitely a nice soft feel and it is comes in a package of four to dollar fifty a skein so that's five ninety nine for a package and this comes in some nice colors um it's got uh, it's got some pinks and blues and purples so more like pastel type colors um but it, it has a nice variety to it and it is fifty percent acrylic and fifty percent polyamide on the crochet walk on the crochet walk, I do a little turn on the crochet walk. Do, 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 do. Almost didn't get that one. <laughs> it's okay, the couch caught it. We're good. As long as it doesn't touch the floor. Although, I have a little friend right here hanging out with me, trying to check out the yarn. You want to say hi? Say hi. Okay, you can sit down. Okay, so... Which one should we start with? Let's go with Favorite. Now, Favorite, I did a yarn review on. It's similar to um, Red Heart with Love, but I like the feel better and I think the price is better. It's a very nice soft yarn. It's got a great feel to it, I think. So, for this one, it is, let's see. So I wrote everything down, so I make sure I caught, I got everything. So this is a four weight yarn. It has 229 yards, 100 gram skein. Um, it calls for a five millimeter knitting needle, US eight. Uh, for a crochet hook, I, I would go with an I or a J. Um, maybe, maybe a K if you want something a little drapier, uh, but I would say an I or a J definitely. And it is 100% acrylic, $1.25 a skein. $1.25 for 229 yards and $4.99 for the four pack. Now I know it's $1.25 plus shipping, but even when you factor in the $8, if you just bought for this, that's $8 for shipping. And the shipping does go down as you add more. But $8 for shipping and it's only $1.25 that adds like two dollars that's 325 that is even th as 325 if you're just buying four of these i i am liking this yarn i would totally buy more of this yarn it feels very nice and soft although softly baby's a little bit softer but i would definitely go for either one and i think the colors in this one a little more uh broad than softly baby okay the next one is 
Bamboo Baby. Now I've been very into bamboo yarns lately. Um, I did, I have Kaboo, Trueboo, um, Premier has a bamboo, I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, but there's a bamboo one um, by Premier and I've been trying all the bamboo yarns and maybe I'll do a little review on all the bamboo yarns and let you know which ones I like best. But this one is Bamboo Baby. Now, since I bought this, I didn't see as many colors on there, but I don't know what that means. Uh, but this one is Bamboo Baby. It's a nice, nice, nice close-up color, and it's light blue. And it is 251 yards. And I'm sorry, it's a, a two-weight yarn. It's 100 gram skeins, 251 yards. Calls for a 3 to a 5.5 millimeter hook. Um, I would go for, I would go for just to give it a nice drape because this would make, this would, this feels nice. It would make a great, uh, it, it would make a, okay, baby, it would make a baby blanket, but I would definitely do a wearable with this one. Um, definitely a wearable, a nice baby sweater or even a top for an adult. Like it, it has a very nice feel to it. Um, and I know a lot of the bamboo yarns, they're tiny strands bound together, but this one seems to be twisted enough let me see if I can get it up there if you see this one is twisted enough and I'll try to show you when I get to the next one that um, this one's twisted so it's not gonna come apart I know I like kaboo but when I'm crocheting with it I tend to once in a while you lose one of the strands because they're not really wound together and so th this one um, it is also 60% bamboo 40% polyamide and it's 225 for a skein Four of them are $8.99. Okay. Um, the little, what did I say it was? Teapot. Oh, well, we're still, no, yarn, the teapot, no. It would be a, a little yarn ball. So, yeah. yeah, just read this. Go ahead. Okay, okay, hold on. This might make it in. Oh, Jesus. Uh, I'm a little skein. Oh, I'm a little, ah, oh, dang it. Oh, right here. Hey. I'm a little yarn skein short and step. Here is my yarn hat. Here is my yarn ball. Oh, I caught those this time. Yes, yay. Okay, so now let's go to this one. Now I did do a review on this one and I did compare it to Red Heart. However, this cannot really compare to Red Heart. This is much better, but in terms of ice, this is your basic yarn, like Red Heart. They have, um, this is Saver. They have Saver and Saver 100, but this one, the regular Saver, is made with um, Droylon acrylic. Now, Droylon acrylic is supposed to hold up better, it's not supposed to lose its color, and it has a nice feel. If you wanna check out my review on that, you can go ahead and I'll put a link down below to that video and you see how it compares to Red Heart. And let me tell you, it does not. It's a much nicer yarn and it is a, a more expensive when you factor in the shipping depending on how much you buy but it is worth it it is a nice yarn i love the feel i might make myself a sweater with that when it gets cold so this one is saber and it is a four weight yarn and it is this one is a 200 gram skein now usually ice yarns are 100 or 50 this one is 200 so uh it is a bigger skein um it's 330 meters i am not sure what that is off the top of my head i want to say 350 360 something like that um it i think it's, it looks wound pretty well let's see there we go it looks wound pretty well and it feels very nice um and it is 100 percent draylon acrylic and this one is, I'm trying to remember how much it is. Um, there it is. Oh, it's $2.99. Comes in a two pack. So it's $2.99. Um, and then it comes in a two pack. So that's $5.99 for the two pack. Um, I, I don't know if I would, uh, when I order it, I probably wait till I'm ordering something else, but it's definitely worth it. It is a great feeling yarn. It is very nice. Okay, the next one was one of their clearance ones. 
Um, I usually, I try not to buy too many clearance ones unless they really stand out. And this one was one of the ones that stood out. Um, it, it was just called Sailplane, that's it. Um, it looks to me to be a two weight yarn. It's in the color Salmon. Okay. It was very cheap, but it has, um, this one is 76% acrylic and 24% polyamide. And that's why I got it because I, I question which yarns to get, but usually if it has polyamide in it, uh, there's not a question in my mind. I usually try it because I've, I haven't felt many yarns with polyamide that are real rough. It seemed like a, a nice yarn, good, uh, something to make a wearable out of maybe a shawl, maybe a scarf, maybe I'll do a sweater. I don't, I don't know yet. Um, but I did get a bunch of these. Um, they were, what did I thirty say? Thirty eight cents a ball, something like that. It was two ninety nine for an eight pack. I I believe that's why what I paid. Um, and then it says it calls for a three to three point five hook. So I I would go three point five, maybe four if I'm making something drapey. That's nice and pretty. Yes, okay so which one's next so this one i thought was very pretty now i didn't have i wanted to make a wearable with this um i understand it it was a clearance yarn i wasn't sure if it would make a good wearable or not but look at that prettiness there that blue with those pretty colors running through it in the silver stripes so this one it's a, a two weight yarn and it is 60 percent cotton 40 percent polyamide let's see if i can get that prettiness up and look at that how beautiful is that so i was hoping it would be a wearable and i, I think it'll be okay um it's not it's not scratchy I want to say kind of or rough I want to say it's bumpy because as you see there's like that silver stuff that kind of comes out that it's so it's it's not it's got a nice feel to it it feels like an, a nice cotton but it's, it just feels like bumpy because even though it's a two it's got some of those other colors and you see it, the silver kind of puffs out a little bit so it's just it's just bumpy but I think it would be a great wearable if I would wear obviously a tank top underneath so I'll probably do something open maybe lacy with it or maybe something plain I'm not sure yet but I think that'll make a good wearable and this one was on clearance for like 36 cents it was an eight pack has 82 yards in it so I I wasn't sure how it would work out but for a few dollars I thought I'd try it and I'm happy with it Here's the next one. So this one was another clearance yarn, kind of basic. And it is called Gray Melange. So this one is a three. It's 110 yards, 50 gram skein, and it calls for a three to four millimeter hook. Um, I, yeah, it looks like a pretty true three to me, and I would I would say a four four point five millimeter would be good. Um, and it is fifty percent acrylic, fifty percent polyamide, and it it feels soft. It feels very soft. It's kind of messy from on the clearance one, so it's not wound as tightly, but. It's not bad. Um, how much was it on clearance for? It was twenty five cents a skein, I think. I think it was a dollar ninety nine for an eight pack. So for that, and it has polyamide in it, I thought can't hurt to try it. So got it. Looks pretty nice. I might make a sweater with it. I'm not sure. Like a open sweater. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet, but it just feels nice. Can't wait. I can't wait to start playing with it. Okay. 
Priscilla, Priscilla, ah, 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 Priscilla. Okay, the last and final yarn is cotton bamboo. Okay, so there it is, the cotton bamboo. Now this one is a two weight yarn. It is 50 grams, so 50 gram ball. Let me see, there is 153 yards in this one. 153 yards calls for a three millimeter crochet hook. I would, all right, a knitting needle. I would, I would go G, I would go three point, I, I would maybe go, maybe if I want something drapey, I would go four, but if you want something tighter, I would go lower, but I would go a four millimeter just because that would have a beautiful drape. And it is, so it's 50% bamboo, 50% cotton, and it is $7.99, 99 cents a skein. And let me show you. So this one is definitely not wound as tight. Now it's not looser like kaboo but you can see it is not wound as tight as the bamboo baby where is the end okay here we go so if you look and see a close Let's see if I can do that. Okay, so if you see, it's kind of hard to tell, but that bamboo baby is just wound a little bit tighter, ever so tighter. Let's see. And then there's the purple one, just a little bit looser. And my cat is eating my notebook with all my notes on it. That's okay. So both of these will make great wear wearables. Uh, not sure quite what I'm gonna make with them yet, but oh, and this one came in a cute little package. Hold on a second. This one, that one came in this cute little package with little skeins. Nice little package that if you're making something small, you could easily store your project in afterward. So that was my ice yarn haul. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, um, comment down below. Tell me what you thought. Which of these is your favorite yarn if you've tried them? Or if you haven't tried them, which one would you like to try? Okay. Thank you. And don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. Have a great day. Hi again, everybody. So I was just editing this video. And as I was watching, I realized how untangled some of that yarn was. And I just want to let you know... It's not from throwing the yarn. It's actually because Mr. Yarn Entangler has ADHD and can't stop playing with everything. So he was twirling the strings and feeling them and trying to check out their texture. And that's why they're all untangled. So I'm going to make him wind them into cakes. And well, we'll see how that goes. But that'll be his punishment for messing with my yarn. Have a great day.